Playing music is is something that I always knew I wanted to do. I love playing music. When this whole thing started, we we had absolutely no idea what was going to happen. We had some passion. We had some music, and we met some people. <laughs> and you know, God opened doors, and 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 we just. We <laughs> kicked and clawed and screamed to get through those doors. And next thing you know, we're headed out the highway, and we hit the ferry, we leave the island, and we start this adventure. What's happened after that is... You know, it's actually just, it's actually just crazy. This has been a dream for all of us, and I, I knew since I was a, as a, as a little boy, um, what God has called us to be. And we had some songs, we wanted to get them out there. We wrote an album, we recorded an album for the first time together. We just wrote some worship songs together. We've had the opportunity to actually take these songs and uh, be able to sing it and lead worship across uh, Canada and the US and, and even abroad. We were all pretty fired up about it because playing music and traveling is something we've all I mean, probably all of us have wanted to do since we've been since we've been kids. If I was like 25 years old, and um, you know, finished a degree, working on a master's, and to just at this point in our lives to just put everything pretty much on hold, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to people. My wife and I, we actually gave up our apartment and we didn't we didn't actually have a, a physical address. Uh, Mike, uh, he gave up his career. I was working, you know, full time, getting a paycheck every two weeks. Um, I had an apartment and that whole lifestyle was very, very comfortable. And people had to leave their loved ones for us to, to go on this journey. And, you know, it was scary. To step out, into an unknown thing, to step away from my career. Very, very scary, but I knew inside of me that it was something that God was birthing inside of me, and I knew that it was something that I was supposed to do. It's not just about the fact that we don't know where income and things like that are coming from, but to the world's eyes or to, you know, to even our friends' and family's eyes, people thought we were just chasing the wind. This lifestyle still doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> there's always things that seem to be going wrong. And there's always ways that we, we have no idea how things are going to work. The harder it gets, those are times that I really feel like... God just grabs me by the heart and says, Dion, you have a purpose. And you have a calling. What I love about this is that there's actual, real, tangible ways that God is actually opening the doors for us. It's not like we, we know that God is speaking in a certain way. When I read the scripture, when I hear Paul say in Philippians that I want to fellowship with Christ's suffering because it's going to help me know him better. And I, and I also hear in James where it says, what good is your faith if there's no good deeds behind it? I know that when I, when we are be able to, you know, to do these things, that God's called us to do, I know that it's going to take me to a place of knowing Jesus that I never thought I'd, I'd be able to know. Literally every single bit of what we what we've done in this last couple of years, yeah, we had to work hard and yeah, we had to sacrifice and this and that, but it's got nothing to do with us because I guess in the end, everything that we have, we have is God's anyway because He's the one who put breath in our lungs to do it. When you're in a situation where you've poured your heart and soul and gut in, into something. I mean, you can look a kid in the eye and you can just say, man, like, you're awesome and Jesus loves you and he has a plan for your life. Being able to do that just once is completely worth any sacrifice. We tell our stories and we share our testimonies and we, you know, we play our music and, and you know, we create that environment where you can really see God doing things in the hearts of the people that are in front of you. It's not fake and it's not based out of religion, but I actually get to see him move.
because of the, the ways that I'm stepping out and allowing his strength to come out in our weakness. We want to be able to go, we want to be able to inspire, but we want to be able to point people to something bigger than just us. It's nothing that I am or I can do on my own, but I just feel like I need to be that person and I want to be that person that can literally change a life through Jesus working through me. When I realize that God can literally take my life and he can use that broken mess <laughs> of, of life that it that it was and is sometimes and he can use me to you know point somebody in a direction that is going to have an impact on their life maybe their family maybe their school maybe their town I'm it's it's totally worth it when all the dust settles if someone says what was Josh Parmenter about I want to be known as someone who who put others before himself, who was a part of something so much bigger than himself. You know, I want to be known as somebody who put God first in all things, no matter how difficult it was, and did as much as I possibly could to be able to tell people about him. I believe that's what we're doing right now. It's scary, and sometimes it's frustrating, and, and it can be confusing. But when you walk in that purpose that God has given you, recklessly pursuing what you feel God has put you on the planet to do, that's when you really come alive. And it's such an exciting experience to be able to feel alive. You cram five people into a, a Dodge Caravan, and, and you travel thousands and thousands of kilometers, you, you quickly find out really who you are as a person. The risks that it involves and the sacrifices it takes, not one single one of us would, would even be here two years later. Like even remotely would have made it the last two years unless God was 100% in it. I believe with every fiber of my being that God has put me here um, as a testimony to his love and his grace to be a voice to, to people who are going through these things and people that need to know, hey man, you know what? It doesn't matter how disgusting you think you are. You are a son or a daughter of God Almighty. And he has nothing but love for you and he has a plan for you and he has a purpose. Doing what God basically put in your heart to do can be difficult and there's so many struggles but at the same time it's the most fulfilling thing you could do and that's there's something special about the unknown and there's something special about not having everything planned out because i think that's where god works if god is in it then it's the best choice that you can make making those sacrifices and living that life that's hard or that's completely opposite so what our culture says important is absolutely, absolutely worth it. We do not have to be afraid. We can be confident and be strong and courageous in the things that God is leading us to do. It will be the most joyful times of your life and the most fulfilling times of your life to step out into what God has for you. Being able to share that message, you know, through through music and through and through my my story, man, it's it's what gets me up in the morning. <laughs> and we believe in our hearts that God uh, is imparting things to us. We have a sound, we have songs, and we have a message uh, to give the people. Well, there's new songs, there's new visions, there's there's always things you know, in our head and we're continuously trying to, you know, figure out how do we evolve. And because of that, we're just, we're just moving forward. Um, this is life. This is real. This is why I'm here. This is what I'm about. It's just, it's just awesome.